Welcome all to Great Worley on this very, very great occasion. The Olympic torch is coming through and it's coming from Derby to here to Birmingham and then to London. Go Great Worley! And are you excited then, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what you're going to see is an absolute buzz because it's already buzzing and there's still some time to go. So you'll have the whole convoy coming through. You'll have the people from Great Worley, from Cannock, we think, and from Essington and from all around the area just really enjoying themselves. I think it's fantastic because it's brought all the community together and uh, we've travelled in from Birmingham because my sister lives on this lane so it's just really great for the community to all get together. Well since last year that it was announced that the torch would come through Great Worley I've been part of the team that have set, the, set it all together uh, it's been a partnership working and can I say they've worked extremely well and it's come together lovely we just hope that it'll be a, a lovely day. This is probably the first time ever that a lot of these kids are going to see the Olympic torch come through here it's a massive thing for them. Yeah, it's going to bring the communities closer as well because they're obviously all going to be out today watching the torch come past and it, talking to each other is just going to bring everyone closer. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, there's already been people that have been on the roads from about 7 o'clock this morning. We should have set up a business in Bacon Butties. I think we'd have made a fortune here. <laughs> well, we're expecting between seven and 10,000 people, I think. It's, we've got a mile-long road and they're coming out for the carnival as well. So, you know, and Great Worley uh, Paris Council have put on a really good show for the day. Well, it's one of those once in a lifetime happenings where she'll never say one again, not, not in this country now, there. I've been invited by the local council to see the Olympic torch, which actually is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity because obviously I don't think any of us will see it again. I know about it that torch has 8,000 holes because there's 8,000 people carrying it and it has three sides because London has hosted the Olympics three times. I feel quite happy and excited about it. I'm Jo, Jo Hughes and I'm a volunteer steward for the day and I decided to volunteer when they were asking for about 100 people who live locally just to help out, you know, geeing up the crowd, helping with sort of making sure the crowd was safe on the day and I thought it was a great opportunity um, to get involved in the community and, um, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see the Olympic torch coming through. I'm feeling really nervous but very excited and very proud because I'm really a member of a team so I'm supporting all my team. I sincerely hope that it encourages particularly team sports. As I said, I played hockey uh, and uh, benefited from that experience for years. It brought the villagers out, uh, so it's good community spirit and people have decorated their homes and then sitting out in their front gardens. It's a lovely atmosphere, even with inclement weather, people are still out there. Community like the Whirly, quite a small but quite a close neck community. I grew up around, in and around the Chesney Great Whirly area, and it's, it's, it's a fantastic um, sort of achievement for Whirly and their council to get this to come through and organise it so well. And now we're just waiting for the carnival to come through. Today was absolutely brilliant. I thought the Olympic torch was absolutely great. Uh, saw the wanted on the, the buzz, which was brilliant for the kids. Um, pity the rain did rain while the torch was coming through but eventually it went really nice and bright um, but all in all it's been a fantastic day. I think the atmosphere has been absolutely brilliant today. Um, we've had just happy people, um, again even though the conditions haven't been that fabulous and it's started to dry up now but um, everybody has had just a, a fabulous time. It's, it's kind of electric in a way, you can really sort of feel it rippling through people. I think people are very proud to be British and proud to have been involved in, in something like this coming through Great Whirly. 